Hey YouTube, it's Michael Lambert here. I'm back once again with another reaction video. Once again, I'm reacting to Corrupt Al 125 in this video. Doritos Sweet and Tangy BBQ Chips Review. What does Tangy mean exactly? This is the new one that he uploaded yesterday and I'm going to react to it right now. And if any notifications pop up during the video, I apologize and I will take care of them. Now let's get to this video. Today we're going to try Sweet and Tangy Barbecue Doritos, which I finally found after a few weeks of searching. Um, from what I heard on the internet a couple weeks ago, they said they're a Sam's Club exclusive, but then they said they're not. Then people told me they found them in other places, and I couldn't find them. I went to, you know, the places that I can go, which are Walmart and H-E-B, and Dollar General and Family Dollar, and 7-Eleven, gas stations, stuff like that. I couldn't find it until today. Uh, found it. Finally, Dollar General was stocking it. So we're going to try it. Now, I know a lot of, I've seen a couple other reviews. I didn't really, like, pay attention because I didn't want to be in, influenced. Um, but I know some other people have reviewed them already, and I'm very interested. Now, the other thing is on the back, they have a picture of the sweet, spicy chili, the purple bag of Doritos, which is a flavor I have been looking for also for weeks um, because I'm trying to make a Doritos video, which is essentially going to be... I think it's, I'm going to title it something like which mainline Doritos flavor is the best, something like that. And I have the regular one. I have spicy nacho. Sorry, I had an itch on my nose. Sorry about that, everybody. Nacho. I have Cool Ranch, um, and I have the Salsa Verde one. But I do not have the purple sweet chili, and I cannot find it anywhere. So I'm hoping I can find that soon and make the Doritos comparison video. But for now, that's still on hold. But we got sweet tangy barbecue. Potentially could be really interesting. I'm not like a generally a huge barbecue chip person. I like barbecue lays fine, but usually I'll take regular lays or especially like sour cream and cheddar over over uh, barbecue. But who knows? Um, some barbecue things are really good. Now sweet and tangy that kind of throws me off because sweet barbecue is a little bit you know it can be a little bit problematic on how sweet the barbecue actually is. Now you you need a little sweetness. You need a little bit of that sugar when you're talking about barbecue, but. Putting sweet in the title kind of worries me. Anyways, let's just try it out. So you should be able to find this, hopefully, at, at least at Dollar General. That's where I found it. But I'm assuming it's going to roll out everywhere before too long. Just like the Doritos dips that took a while to find. I, I'm assuming it'll roll out soon. You know what these smell like? Kind of like those Fritos barbecue, honey barbecue twists, which are, you know, pretty good. I don't really like the twist format, but I like the flavor of them. That's kind of what they smell like. Here's what they look like. They look pretty much like Doritos, just with a, a brown seasoning instead of their usual nacho cheese or the kind of Cool Ranch zestiness, which I always liked the way those Cool Ranch looked with the with the sprinkles, the, the, the powders on them. Um, you know, festive, but let's go ahead and try this out. Ow. These are interesting. They did kind of a, a little bit fall into the trap. I was talking about it being a little too sweet because... I do think the sweetness is a little bit high. The sweet factor in these is a little bit high. But really, the highlight of these is not necessarily the sweetness. It's, it's the tang. Tangy is a, an interesting word. I don't, I've never looked it up, but tangy can mean a lot of things. And it's a hard-to-explain kind of thing. There's almost like a little bit of a spice to it. I wouldn't call it spicy by any means, but tangy is a good i guess it's a good description because i can't really think of another word maybe zingy zingy tangy kind of zip you know it's got a little bit of a bite to it but it's not necessarily spicy but it does have an interesting kind of spiced flavor that does kind of grab you a little bit and now i think i i like that but i think the sugar the sweetness of it kind of is a little bit overwhelming in, in terms of the ratio of sweet to tang and barbecue well, I guess you would call this barbecue. This is not like a traditional barbecue flavor. This is definitely not like a Lay's barbecue. Like I said, it's more spicy. It's more seasoned. I, I don't really, I'm not an expert on different barbecue types, so I couldn't really tell you. But this has more of a sweet, sugary, but also spicy, zingy taste, um, if that makes sense. I'm not, I'm not really finding the words to describe this very well, but I'm hoping that all makes sense in terms of the Sweet and Tangy Barbecue. I guess that is a good name to go with, Sweet and Tangy, because it's really hard to describe any other way. Um, and I like them, but I don't I don't love them. I, I think in terms of Doritos flavors, they've definitely done better. And I would probably prefer just regular Doritos over these. 
but they are an interesting kind of these would go into the slot of I'll get these every once in a while to kind of break it up. That's what I would put these in, as long, assuming they stick around and they're not just a limited time thing. It would be like, you know what, I've had a lot of Doritos lately. You know, how about I grab a bag of barbecue? Or like, oh, Doritos are, you know, two for six. I'll get a regular one and a barbecue one. That's kind of where these would fit in for me. It's the same place where actually Cool Ranch kind of resides for me right now. Now, I know there are a lot of Cool Ranch heads out there, Cool Ranch aficionados. I'm a nacho cheese kind of guy, or actually really a spicy nacho kind of guy. If I'm getting Doritos, spicy nacho is going to be my first choice. But as I said, sometimes if it's like two for six or something like that, throw in a Cool Ranch just to have something different and break it up. Even if it's not necessarily my favorite, it's still solid. And that's where I think these sweet and tangy barbecue chips will go. Though I have no doubt some people might really like these because the tang and zip... Zip tang, zip zang, I don't know what other word to use. It is compelling. It's a compelling flavor, but also a flavor that I don't think I could binge. Like, with a bag of spicy nacho Doritos or regular Doritos or even Cool Ranch, I feel like I could almost eat, like, a, a half a bag, you know, just not paying attention. Whereas these, you could not do that, I, I don't think. I don't think these are kind of a bingeful chip. I think these are, uh, you have a few and then you kind of... Hold on, everyone. I gotta take care of this notification. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that, everybody. You kind of don't want any more because it's a little bit of an overwhelming flavor, um, which could be a good or bad thing, depending on who you are, um, depending on the situation. I'd say it's a bad thing in general, but not that bad. So it leaves me in a weird place when I'm coming to review these, which is something I say a lot because I, I, I start to waver because I like the five-star scale. Um, you know, some people have said things about it. They don't like it, blah, blah, blah. I like the one to five because I feel like it really highlights, it really puts things into perspective easily. When you go on a 10 point scale or even higher, like if you go into halves, if you're rating things out of 10 and you can, you can get something, you know, a 6.5, you're getting a little bit too granular in my opinion. I really feel like the five stars is something people can generally grip and understand easily without having to get into semantics. Just like, because it kind of does relate to also grading scale, at least in the U.S., of A, B, C, D, F. You know, there's five. F is failing. That kind of equates to a one star. D kind of equates to a two star. It's not good. It's, it, you know, you might it might be okay, but it's not really that good. You probably shouldn't buy it. C, that equates to a three star, meaning, you know, it's okay. It's, it's solid. You might like it. You might not, but it's not really something to write home about. Four stars, you're starting to get into the good territory. That's a B. It's, it's above average. It's pretty good, but there might be some things about it that aren't good. Um, there might be some things that would preclude some people from wanting to get it, but in general, it's probably a good thing to check out if you feel like it or if you're interested in that you know genre or subject or if you're somebody who's interested in chips or candy or whatever, something gets a four star, you know it's probably a good thing to check out. And then you got the fives, which are basically, you know, everybody who, you know, is watching this video, I would recommend try it pretty much because it's excellent. Five stars, you're talking about something that's very good that really doesn't have too many detrimental things, maybe a couple nitpicks, but it's five stars. So you know that it's going to be something that will be good regardless, you know, and there's some, there's, there's a little bit of subjectivity when it comes to reviews. I don't, I don't like saying reviews are objective because they're not. People like to say, oh, you know, you review things objectively. You want to review it with an objective mindset. A little bit, yes, but in general, a review is always going to be subjective. You know, somebody, there's definitely going to be people who buy these that hate them. There's going to be people who buy these that love them. I'm in the middle. Um, that's my personal opinion, but I can see other people's point of views. I understand where you're coming from if you say you hate it. I understand where you're coming from if you say you love it. There's no such thing as an objective review. It's always going to be tilted based on the person, but I do try to keep in mind other people's opinions when it comes to these things like especially with spicy things i try to understand that some people really like spicy things and they might get you know something out of a spicy product that i won't get and that's fine and i try to keep that in mind when i know because it's possible to know something is quality but not like it that happens to me a lot like i know this item is a quality item i know it's probably worth the money i know that they put a lot of work into it and all that good stuff but i don't like it personally I will try to, you know, I might bump that one up a little bit because I feel like... Hold on, everyone. I need to take care of something. I'll be right back. Sorry about that, everybody. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that, everybody. Like, they 
based on the quality of the product, they do deserve a better rating, even if I personally didn't like it, stuff like that. There's a tilt. There's a tilt based on the reviewer, and this is just my opinion, and I don't know why I'm sticking this into the Dorito video, but it's kind of where I'm, because I'm waffling between the three and four on these. Um, but I think I'm going to go with a three, you know, based on what I just said. I think I convinced myself to give these a three, because... I do think that they're solid. I do like them, but I don't think they're necessarily exceptional. I think a C average is where these would go. Again, you might love them, you might hate them, but for me, they're just like another option that's there occasionally to get just to, you know, make some interesting, you know, just have a little bit of interesting food, but not really something that I'm going to pick out every time like a spicy nacho. So <sighs> that's Sweet and Tangy Barbecue Doritos. Three out of five. Check them out if you want to. They're available at Dollar General now at least. Definitely at Sam's Club. Maybe Walmart now. Um, I haven't checked in the last couple days, but they're, they're starting to come out. They're starting to spread out, so you might be seeing them around you soon. And I will see you all next time. Awesome video. I give it a thumbs up. And I hope you all enjoyed this reaction video. If you're all new to my main channel or my second channel or Corrupt Al 125s channel, make sure you guys subscribe. Give both our videos a thumbs up. Hit the notification bell to let you guys know when we both post. And share both of our videos with your friends and family members too, please, everybody. And on my main channel, we are on the road to 7,000 subscribers. And on my second channel, we are on the road to 2,000 subscribers. And please don't forget to take a look at my other videos on my channel's playlists. On both my main channel and my second channel and give them a thumbs up. And share them with your friends and family members too, please, everybody. I would really appreciate it. And please help me accomplish my goal to get 7,000 subscribers or more on my main channel and 2,000 subscribers or more on my second channel too, please, everybody. I would really appreciate that too. And please help me bring my views and watch hours up on my main channel by taking a look at my other videos that are on the two playlists that are on my main channel and give them a thumbs up. And share them with your friends and family members too, please, everybody. I would really appreciate it. And please help me bring my subscriber count up on my main channel as well. Also, please, everybody, I would really appreciate that too. And I'm off now, so until next time, see ya.